Well, as with all submissions, when uh, the data uh, was received by Wikileaks, it had to be uh, uh, cleaned, if I can uh, say that. Uh, so there were no traces pointing out the source. And uh, it had to be we had to be sure as well that this was authentic. Uh, but that is the usual process with all data submitted to Wikileaks. Well, the three publications that were originally involved with the Afghan data, they, uh, they knew of the uh, Iraqi material. Uh, so they were, um, uh, we had a commitment uh, to work with them onwards and they were uh, willing to participate in that and uh, commit their resources on investigating the material. Uh, but we thought uh, and believed that uh, we should expand the scope uh, to include uh, more media uh, into this uh, process and through the uh, Bureau of Investigative Journalism we uh, uh, achieved that. That is all in line with the uh, promise we give to sources to uh, maximize the impact of the material that they leak to, uh, to Wikileaks. It is unique in, in journalistic history, I think, to have so many media outlets working on the same material at the same time. Uh, the, um, the media uh, outlets the, uh, are, are not used to these kind of uh, uh, projects. I mean, they are not used to cooperate on a basis such uh, uh, as this one. But we relied very much on the, uh, the expertise and skill that it was provided by the, uh, the uh, news outlets. Uh, there were uh, probably uh, 40, 50 uh, professional journalists working on the material. Uh, and with uh, researchers and uh, additional people, we're talking probably up to 100 people. Uh, they have the expertise and uh, we rely very much on them and that is the, the basic reason for the cooperation with the media outlets. Well, I mean, there are very strong stories that, uh, that uh, is revealed by this data. Uh, uh, but it is the, uh, the general uh, trends uh, and the full picture, which is the significance of this material. Uh, it also tells a story of uh, the uh, failings of the traditional media of reporting properly on the Iraqi war in the period. Uh, that should be uh, 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 something that should call for a bit of soul searching within the media. Were they too much relying on the military for information? And even when we go to the military data, we see that uh, there are, uh, there's a lot of information there that was withheld from the public. So one thing in particular is the uh, overall tendency, for example, to uh, uh, categorize uh, deaths uh, as, uh, uh, the, as insurgents killings when uh, there are uh, ample evidence to show that the, uh, these are actually civilian deaths. Um, this is something that we learned very early. We learned that when uh, we released the, uh, the uh, Apache attack video uh, in April, uh, in the actual report, from that incident, uh, all both but the two Reuters journalists and the two uh, who were killed that day were categorized as insurgents. Uh, we know now that uh, the uh, uh, estimate of, of death was uh, was far lower than actually uh, the actual killings, and actually the uh, the death that they categorized as uh, insurgents were uh, civilians. So this is a uh, one example. But we see in the data that there is an overall tendency to, uh, to categorize every Iraqi killing as insurgents. Well, journalists will, will be able to access this within an searchable format. We are uh, also open to the possibility, uh, because of the, uh, the material being uh, fairly over-reducted uh, as is, to, uh, to hand out uh, upon requests the material to journalists uh, who are interested in a special field, special uh, 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 categories, if I may say so, or uh, or some uh, s special events or or or, 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 or time frames. W with the Afghan uh, Afghanistan war log, uh, the uh, approach was basically this: uh, uh, there was a reliance upon the categorization of the U.S. military of uh, of uh, their data. Uh, on that basis, one in every six report was withheld for uh, line by line uh, reduction. Uh, those were 15,000 documents of the, out of the 92,000. Uh, this time around, uh, we took a different approach, uh, 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 which can be described uh, basically as uh, a reverse approach, approach to reduction. Out, at, at the outset, uh, you decide that basically every 
thing in all the reports is harmful until proven otherwise. Uh, so little by little, you approach the material and reinstate words, uh, locations, etc. Uh, so you approach it to, uh, towards minimization of reductions. And what we are basically uh, having at the end is uh, uh, an overreducted version. But it could be a, a work in progress. Uh, there is, a, of course, limited resources. But the end result, whether it takes weeks or months, should be uh, very limited and just the uh, uh, necessary reductions for uh, uh, harm minimization. So we can uh, possibly call on, on uh, academic institutions or other, other uh, media organizations to help out in that progress. Well, I'm sure there are going to be uh, tricky questions, uh, especially with regard to uh, uh, the reductions as previously. And, uh, uh, hype the claim of, of possible harm. Uh, but I mean, uh, you don't have to prepare for that. I mean, we do just uh, uh, tell the truth about how we approach it. Uh, what we feel uh, is necessary to, uh, to uh, why the material is, is totally necessary to be in the public domain. And uh, that is the, uh, the only answer we can give to criticism, basically, and the right one. <laughs>